a review before the next set of of um, deluxe figures of my AA Hall reviews. Today, um, well, this review is going to consist of Generation One G One Constructor Cons. Right, let's start off then from here to the end. We have Scavenger, Mixmaster, Bone Crusher, Scrapper, Hook. And long haul. Long haul. I'm going to be doing them as I have set on the, these sheets of papers because I cannot find my G1 Bible. I cannot use that as my source of what's what. So I'm going to be using pictures that I got off the internet and their names. So let's get on with it. And I'm going to start off with Scrapper. So let's move the rest out of the way. Scrapper here comes with the chest of Devastator and a little black gun. A little black gun. That's very, very detailed, but just straight on black. This has got some sticker sheets and it has got these stickers here and is really, really nicely done as well. Looks very nicely done, like wings and everything. Um, and stuff so I'm just gonna stick these like that put them off for the side at the moment because we're taking a look at the actual generation one toy so everybody knows that Scrapper is the leader of the constructor cons and sadly enough he's the leader but he's not the main part of the robot he is sadly a foot he's very nice he is like a boo of like not a bulldozer, but um, a lifting type bulldozer like thing. I don't know my construction vehicles, but he is very, very nice. He does roll. And I, I like how G1 toys are meant to be more based on the vehicle than the robots. I think that's actually a really nice aspect because you can tell this is this is like, must have been like a retooled of a old Japanese like pickup truck, not pickup truck, um, like construction vehicle, and they just reconvert it in so it can transform into into um into a leg he has got the classic g1 rub sign so let's rub that so we can find out what a legion he lies in and he is let's find out come on come on come on he is a decepticon can you see just about to fade away. Let's just quickly bring that back up. He is a Decepticon, as you can see. Because these are so small figures, I'm not going to um, do the transformation separate. So, the transformation for the Sky is very, very easy and simple because of it being a Generation 1 toy. Um, what you want to do is just bring the back here down, and they'll form the legs. Next, you want to push this little panel up. First you want to bring this black piece forwards and when that happens th these little two green posts that were up there fold down so that can fold back and here we have Scrapper in robot mode. Let's zoom in for some of that deep nice G1 details as, we, as you can see, he's got a very nice head, a very, very nice head. The scope does look like, I say it does look like Scrapper, but not fully from the show, but it does look like Scrapper. We have got some nice little sticker details to represent some mechanics, a Decepticon logo, and some more on the chest. Coming down, we have got some more of that stickers down there. Rep I might be able to pick up some a Devastator sticker sheet. That is with the complete six constructor cons for for him, so I might re rep label this guy up. And it's very, very nicely done as well. So let's zoom out to do the articulation. 
he can hold in hold his gun. I think this is his right gun. I'm still trying to figure out which one is his right gun. But he can hold it and he can shoot Autobots with it. So yeah, but like I said, he has just got full arm well not fully he got up and down movement on the arms and knee articulation due to the transformation. So yeah, so this was literally scrapper. And let's put him off to the side and let's Keep the parts with them so we know exactly who's with who. So let's go on to the next on my list, that is Hook. So let's bring him to the forefront. Here we have Hook. His accessories um, are the head to Devastator, the little ear cannon, don't know why, the head, like I said, the head of a Devastator, so very nice head scope. I'll get more into that when we combine Devastator. Um, very nicely done and his gun I'll keep the gun with me so and these guys can go off to the side for a minute while we take a look at Hook Hook is a really really nice G1 toy I really really do like him I love the G1 constructor cons I don't know what got me I don't know what was that got me into the constructor cons but I wanted the G1 constructor cons no matter what, I think they are my favourite jet um, transformers from the Decepticons. As I think, well, I might need to get a Decepticon logo because he has got a rub sign, but um, the previous owner probably put the Decepticon logo in the wrong place. But yeah, he do he is very very nice. We have got a crane operating cockpit there, and the driver's cockpit there. The crane does work and extends, so that's really nice. And slides, so it does slide all the way out and slides, and and the crane thing can also go. It can also rotate as well. That's very nicely done. That's very very nicely done. Like like I said with Scrapper, what I think they've done with the Constructor Cons or their Diaclone companion mold models, they pretty much remolded the Japanese toys they had, and pretty much. We can remolded them. So yeah, so we have got really nice little details across there. Got nice wheels and it does roll very nicely as well. well I think that is a nice touch. And it br it really brings out the toys very, very nicely and very, very well. So like I did with Scrapper, he will be in... Um, Hook is another one that I will be doing the transformation without cut stopping the video. And then doing the video again. So what I like to do is slide the waist off and then slide the legs out when the legs are out they can become the left feet next I like to push so you want to slide the arms and then slide the head I like to have hook hooks um, hook bit down down the bottom so it helps them stay up a little bit and it's and it really does help the figure a lot definitely on the age it consumes but as you can see he's very very nicely done he is very very nice he has got arm articulation here he has got knee articulation and it's got really nicely done stickers we have got the chest stickers we've got the waist stickers we've got the shoulder um, the knee stickers and we literally got also another f I think an another nice representation of Hook's face from G1 as well. Well, I think is another great example of the toy. Like Scrapper, yes, yeah, Scrapper, he can also hold his gun in his hand. And he can literally shoot Autobots yet again with them. And it really brings out that characteristic within these guys. And if I knew, if I knew where, um, where where my, my book was I would do some of their quotes or their their phrases but at, at the moment I don't so yeah that was Scrapper so let's go on to Bone Crusher now shall we we have Bone Crusher um, he, the accessories he comes with is the left fist of Devastator and the left arm of Devastator I keep these together because they are fire and missile joint. 
it does come with these two like drill type pieces I think the t even because they're worn the yeah the tips have been snapped off but they're still good and the chrome hasn't aged on them so that's another great thing that I'm glad about that the chrome hasn't really aged on them so that's another thing so I put those there like I do with the others I'll keep the other accessories with the other bots um so yeah so that was good bone crush so let's get on to his let's just talk about him a little bit uh, in his vehicle mode so yeah so bone crusher here is very very nicely done he is a bulldozer, I know this is a bulldozer, and it's a very, very nicely done bulldozer, if I do say so myself. It's got very nice details. He doesn't really roll, he just slides, because the because back then, um, when they had, like, cat, caterpillar tracks or something, they decided not to put little wheels in. I don't know why this one hasn't got wheels. I don't know. He has got two Decepticon logos. I don't know why two. He's got one there, and one there and he's got the rub sign there the rub sign does work but you don't need to see that because you already know he's a Decepticon um, he's got nice little warning black and yellow stripes down on the sides here and that's pretty much it for Bone Crusher in vehicle mode this and I prefer Bone Crusher in G1 than the Bone Crusher in the first movie the live action movie sorry but I wish he was still a Constructicon but yeah, so transforming Bone Crusher because he's a G1 toy. Um, you want to slide these bits out, slide them down to form the feet. T take these top section of the vehicle down or to the side. Bring the feet down. Bring that back so it goes to the back because there's some detail that arises bring the scoop up really nicely done with the scoop bring the arms down fold the head out And here we have little Bone Crusher in his robot mode. The detail is very, very nice. Yeah, look, I'm going to bring. I'm not going to zoom in on the head. I'm going to bring the head to the camera. It's a very, very nice Hitley done head sculpt. The articulation is very nice. We have got stickers for detail here on the chest and on the arms and on the waist, and we have nice feet for um, caterpillar tracks for for legs but articulation is pretty much with us we have got shoulder elbow not really waist you could say we have head articulation I'm like how in that as head articulation because that's part of the transformation like all the uh, like the other three constructor cons he can hold his gun and it does fire very 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 well so yeah, he can also blast Autobots and stuff like that. And yeah, so... We'll keep the parts that they come with separately for Devastator on one side. So yeah, so that was a Bone Crusher. So let's move on to Long Haul, shall we? have Long Haul here, and the pieces he comes with extra is the waste piece for Devastator and some two extra guns. That are screwed into place, so you won't be able, so you won't lose them. But we have got the crotch piece. We got the um, well, the waist leg connection joint. We got the actual crotch plate. That's very very nicely made. And we got his itty bitty gun. Let's move them to the sides so they become part of a pile. And let's take a look at. Um, long haul in his vehicle mode long haul is a dumper truck and he is voiced by the great legendary Greg Berger so that's another that's another thing um, he is very nicely done we have got wheels back in the day we did have individual wheel movements so that's very nice at the back here and we have got them at the front so he does roll very well we have nice d details on the side here 
got a nice window section here that's hollowed out but that's very very nice we've got a nice door section we've got the nice details here in the back of the like dump that were really nice but I'll get into that and it's got the rub so we'll get into that a bit later we have got a little Autobot logo and we have got some nice little details across here like I did with the other three I will talk to the transformation within this take ah crap that be edited out and probably be added into bloopers, I don't know. So yeah, you want to fold down the back of the scoop down, and when you do that, you want to bring the arm, the front of the vehicle out, slide the arms out, and slide the head, the arm down. Bring that around. Do that the same, and. Rotate the arm. Well, I'll do it this way. So, so I have the arms like that, and I'll bring the head up like right. so. So here we have long haul in roll mode. As you can see, very nicely done details. We have got sticker details in this area here again to represent some detail we've got some sticker details that are representing some detail we've got some nice grill details appearing and like always he has got a good good long haul um, sculpt black but you could tell that's long haul even though his face is white you could literally tell even though it's black that's long haul and that is something really really nicely done yeah. doesn't like to stand though so we get his gun, and like all the, unlike the other three, he has his weapon just goes into his hand, and he can shoot Decepticons as well. So that's a little, that's kind of cool, and everything. So next on my list is Mixmaster. So let's get him done. We have Mixmaster. There is one piece I'm missing with my Mixmaster, and that is his little gun. I have got oh, everybody else's gun, but. And scavenger's gun, but he hasn't got his gun, so what are you gonna do? Because I think you could also put the gun there if you wanted to. But yeah, so this is um Mixmaster, he is a cement mixer, and that does roll. Turn. So that's really cool. It does roll very nicely as well. And it's got very, very nicely details here. And on the front of the grill. And on the front here, on the sides, very nicely done details. Um, to transform, obviously, Mixmaster, like all the others, I will do the transformation on the screen. You, you just bring down the, the um, front of the vehicle, and that just turns upside down. Arms just get pulled out. Yeah. Oh, I didn't show you the accessories he's come with. He comes with Devastator's gun, so he I could use Devastator's gun as his gun. Cause it does it fit in his hand? Just yeah, yeah. So he has got a gun. He has got a gun. So I'm using it, Devastator's gun for his normal gun at the moment. And it comes with two little projectiles. They both just clip there. Um, there's a black button there, and they do fire. Very powerful spring too. Even though it's an 80s toy, the spring is powerful in some regards, but not. But also shows signs of weakness. So yeah, so let's put those pieces off to the side and put him with his other fellow constructor guns and everything. Oh, I didn't show off the articulation, did I? Oh yeah, before I do that. He has got let arm articulation, that's pretty much it. Head detail, very, very nice, as you can see, very, very nice head detail. Very nice stickers as well, uh, to show off some details, stuff like that. So, yeah, so that they, so that's five, so who's left, who's last? Mm, scavenger. So let's bring Scavenger to the front. Scavenger, Scavenger comes with the other arm of Devastator. And the hand of those there, both same details as the other one, so you don't need to look at that. And he comes with his gun. His 
is gone, 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 gone. Yeah, it's gone. Very nice looking gun too. Like all the others, it's just pitch black and that's pretty much it. So let's just put that down to the side and let's take a look at, Scra at Scavenger. Scavenger is a very nice scoop um, scoop truck thing. Very nice details. Like again, he has got treads. Yet again, he is like Bone Crusher, where he he just slides. But he has got very nice details. He is a Decepticon, and I'm not doing the rub sign because if you've seen this Decepticon logo, what's the point rubbing the sign when you know he's a Decepticon? That's a thing of a pass, really. He has got some nice details, but it's kind of nostalgic having the rub sign there, though. It's very, very nicely done, and it does it does rotate. It does rotate a full 360. And that's cool, and that can go up and down. So he has got three points of articulation there as well. So that's pretty cool. Tr like all the others, I will do the transformation in this take. So, yeah, so let's... Transform to transform it. You want to bring the legs down, rotate the bottom part of the um, treads to the to the sides, so the feet are have appeared. Then you want to uh, pull out the arms because these are uh, they're tight to bring out. And then you would, uh, and then you would have slid out the head. And, and I, I normally, well, I can't really rotate that around, can I? No. And then I just have that stand on the back. Sticker stickers yet again, showing some nice details. But this time we have got some stickers that aren't de that aren't sticker details, and we have got the Decepticon logo. I think it should be there, but it's on another sticker. And yet we have these nice little little guys. Really, really really nicely done we have got one point of articulation in the legs but they move on their own and that's not really good is it no no but he has got like ankle swivels and he has got arm articulation that can fully rotate as well like I said zoom close up of the head very nicely done as well Definitely nicely done with the detail. Very, very show accurate. Not show accurate. Very, very 80s. And it's, and I love the sticker designs on these. I love how the stickers work and how how this how Devastator actually ends up forming. It just so much works with this guy. And like all the others, here's a little gun. Gun to shoot Autobots. So that was the six constructor cons. Let's, let's do a roll call. Now he doesn't want to stay. And there we go. So yeah, so that was the six constructor cons. We have Scrapper, Hook, Bone Crusher, Longhorn, Mixmaster, and Scavenger. And and let's get them back to vehicle mode. Hello. Right, and here we have the constructor cons in what I would say their vehicle modes again. I got them back in their vehicle modes for a special reason. Because them in robot mode, their phase one is pretty much them transformed back into vehicle modes, and their phase two is pretty much combining. So, like the words of Scrapper, Phase one Constructicons form Devastator. And pretty much let's do the transformation. So what you want to do, I start off with Scrapper here. What you want to do is lift up the
Well, you know, he doesn't really want. Okay. That always pops off. It's just pegged there. So we have a foot. I'm going to work on foot feet first. And then you want to bring Mix Master. When you do that, you just want to just bring the whole front up so we have so we have another foot. Then we bring long haul. And all you need to do really is just bring him down like so. So now we have the three legs and the waist. What you want to do next is get the waist piece that long haul came with and just plug plug long haul on top get get scrapper he literally there's no way that you can't mix and match the match the constructor cons like you could with the um scramble city combiners or as in um air silver bolt no the aerial bots the competitor cons computron and all those these had specific way to transform and and you cannot just swap the legs so they tr so one transforms into the legs one changes into the waist so yeah you want to just peg them there he literally just pegs like so so we have got the waist let's take that spot Next, let's do hook. Hook is one of my, the easiest. Um, like all of them are easy to transform into their combining components, but he, I think he's really simple. You want to just spread them up because he's on this on this diecast um, metal like slide gimmick. And what you want to do is just rotate him around, like not like that. Like that. Um, I see why what's going on here. To slide it around like that. And to literally to help him stay in this position. Literally this position. We come to the head. And literally he the head just slides with this and literally just slides there. Just literally, just slide. Oh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to combine now. Okay, like I said, you want to just get this piece and just slide that on, like so, so it fully clips on. Then you want to come to the waist here, or to long haul post. Well, a hole peg configuration there pretty much peg and hole and all you want to do is pretty much peg peg him in that looks uneven don't know why so then we get to the arms Pretty much all you need to do with the arms is pretty much this. I want to bring out this little die cast piece from long haul. Fold this scoop up. If you want to, you could do that. So it appears so that appears at top. Then you get the corresponding fist. Well no, you can't really do that. Corresponding fist. There's a hole in the arm, and you just want to peg that on. I'll do the fist. I'll plug in the fist last. Same with bone, bone crush. Bone crushes, I think, is simply the easiest. All it is, I just, all I do is, all he is is just that, and his arm just, and just pegs the arm there. And he just connects on that point. So yeah, so let's get to that. 
So we want to, there's this little metal die cast piece. You want to come, there's a little tr square peg that it goes on and you want to just put it in so it's literally on there. So he's able to move his arm around. That literally is uneven. Why are you uneven? I see why. Nah, it must be age. It's not right here. There's something not right here, but now that the arm's on, I can put the little fisties in. And pretty much, there's this little weird square hole. Just, I don't know if you, how I can do this. Just there, you get this little tab. You just stuff that in. That should bounce this amount now. And then pretty much all you want to do is just finish off the pieces. So you want to just put that in. Get the crotch, no, the waist, um, chest piece. Peg that in. Oh, no, that's going to fall, so I'm going to peg that in. And then get this piece. And then just want to just put it into the waist area here and literally keep it in. Mine doesn't like to stay in all that much. I have to literally keep it in there for a few moments until it decides to stay in. And it literally sometimes likes to fall out. But all you need to do is just, there's a little slot in the, in the bottom of the front of um, Long Hall. All you need to do is find that slot. Hold it in a little bit. And here we have Generation 1 Devastator in his combined mode. Oh, don't forget the ear cannon. Still, don't know why. It it's, makes it complete. And his gun. So yeah, so this is a Devastator. So let's get on to the details now. The detail, well he's really, really nicely done. I'm going to take you off my tripod and show you him. Very, very nicely done. We literally have a nice head sculpt coming down to a very, very nice chest piece with a very, very nice constructed bodywork of the constructor cons forming this guy. We have nice arms coming down to the bottom here on both sides. They are missile launch. They are like missile rocket launchers. So be careful. We have got this nice little like engine thruster jetpack thing, and we have got the nice waist coming down. We have got the nice feet of of Devastator, of Mixmaster and Scrapper. The leader, I don't know why he he is called Scrapper when he's the foot and he's the leader. He is all in all a very, very nice toy indeed. And I do enjoy him myself. And it really, really, really is nice. Articulation wise, we have got arm art You want to know what? I'm keeping that off. He has got arm articulation. 
here in the, on both sides. I'll show that off. He has got arm articulation. He has got an elbow joint. If you could say elbow joint. And he's got wrist articulation if you could call that. He has got head articulation if you call that head articulation because it bobs up so up and down. But sadly he has no leg articulation. That's the thing I am very disappointed of. There was some sort of knee joints or that in the Scrapple City sets because of how the legs transformed to form an arm or the legs of the robots. It was literally how it was. I have got ruination up there. I'm not taking them down to show you what I mean. But like I said, he's a brick really. But I love him. He really, really shows. He really, really does show it. And that's the thing. He's a G1 toy and I love him. I can tell, see that he's been played with. I can see that he's been pl yeah, played with. And I absolutely adore it. It really, really is a nice toy. And I really, if you could, if you could try and hunt this one down, a complete one, or if you want, or better yet, it, there's an encore release coming out of this guy, an encore release of Devastator, and I am so planning to pick him up. It's just an absolutely lush toy, and. I love him. I literally, literally do love him. And he is a remarkable toy. A remarkable toy. A remarkable Generation 1 toy. It's going to sit nicely with my Generation 1 shelf. If once I make space. And he's, he's, got, and he's a remarkable figure. And it's really, really nice. So, yeah. So, stick around for some more Generation 1 reviews, probably. When I get some... Because he is a lovely, 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 lovely figure. I do recommend him a lot. So yeah, so this was the the um, figures before the Seekers AA Hall reviews. And it was on Devastator. Generation 1 Devastator, folks. Give a round of applause for him. Make a guest appearance on the show. And I'll see you next time for the three Seekers that were released in the Generations line. Thrust, Dirge, and Thundercracker. And let's see how they like to be reviewed. See you next time for that review. Another AA Hall review done and dusted. Another set of three Deluxes coming up. See you then. Bye-bye for now.